Time now for the Air Canada Cross Country Check-In. The Mayor of Toronto is celebrating another major victory. A committee has decided not to prosecute Rob Ford over campaign finance violations. This move to drop the case comes as new numbers show Ford gaining ground as far as popularity is concerned. Alexander Gunn caught up with the Mayor of Toronto ahead of his interview with our very own David Menzies. Uh, Alex, how was he? He seemed chipper, relieved, victorious to me when I saw him before the show. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. It was all three of those, Anita. He really was all smiles. I think he's happy that he fought and won and beat that campaign uh, finance fight. And on top of that, we're seeing a new uh, research forum poll that's come out that basically says that his uh, ratings are skyrocketing. More and more people in Toronto and in the surrounding greater Toronto area are happier with Toronto, uh, with Mayor Rob Ford. And we're starting to see that in some of the numbers. So when we talk about how his case has been dropped, we found out that he will not be facing charges over the alleged campaign finance violations found by the auditor and on top of that the three member compliance committee decided in a two to one vote to drop the case altogether rather than begin prosecution and then back in January there was an appeals court that kept him in office by overturning his earlier defeat in, in the conflict of interest case so it really has been all good news for Mayor Rob Ford as of today and on top of that we actually spoke with him he was in the, the Sun News studios earlier today I got a chance to speak with him and get his uh, response about the compliance audit on uh, compliance audit committee decision to get his thoughts on that and just how relieved he really is. It's feeling great. I'm uh, glad the compliance um, went smoothly. Uh, we've had two complete audits now and uh, everything's obviously uh, out there for people to see. Uh, we played by the rules and um, showed everything that we had to show so uh, I'm glad uh, uh, the committee saw it that way, and uh, we move on. And when we take a closer look at the forum research poll, it actually shows that Mayor Rob Ford is one of the most popular mayors out of the past eight mayors as well. Look at these numbers wow. here, Anita. It shows that, you know, 48% approve of the job that he's doing, up from 45 a month ago and 42 in mid-December. So we are seeing good ratings coming out for Mayor Rob Ford. It seems that a lot of people are really happy with what he's been doing, not just lately, but in the past few years as well. When we look at the numbers in terms of the disapproval rating, he's sitting at 52%, but 35 think that Ford is doing a good job now as he did back in 2011 and 2012. So it seems to be going quite well for him, quite smoothly, and of course everyone wants to talk about a potential election. So when we look at some numbers in regard to whether or not there would be a three-way race involving Rob Ford, uh, Olivia Chow, and George Smitherman, it, the, the sh it basically shows that Ford would still beat his 2010 rival um, George Smitherman in either a two-way or a three-way race, so that's good news, but Ford could couldn't beat NDP MP Olivia Chow of the two clash in a 2014 race. So we are seeing some interesting figures coming out on that front, Anita. Um, interesting to see that he wouldn't beat Olivia Chow, but I don't really think he cares about that today. I think he's just excited that those charges, uh, you know, yeah. that those legal troubles are over and done with, and that he's doing well in the polls in terms of, you know, Torontonians really, you know, liking him. You, and, had, uh, you had some good insight in the last <laughs> hour when you said all these controversies that he was facing he was actually probably doing some good. Exactly. As far as the polls are concerned. Mm -hmm. All right, good stuff. Thanks, Alex. Thanks, Anita. What an exciting morning.